The Bible says that if we would lift him up, he would draw all men unto himself. So just listen to the words of this song and then sing it along with me and the words are going to be up here. And So we're going to lift him up and we're going to lift him up with everything that we've got. in my 
Executed, not abandoned. I'm shut down, but I'm not destroyed. I am blessed beyond the curse. His promise will endure, and His joy is gonna be my strength. Though the sorrow may last for the night, His joy comes with the morning. And I'm trading my sorrows, and I'm trading my shame I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord and I'm trading my sickness I'm trading my pain and I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord and we say yes Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, yes, Lord. Amen. How many know there is just something about the name of Jesus? Let's just get our minds on him today. If you're the newest of Christians or the oldest of Christians, the name that surpasses any problem or circumstance that we have is the name of Jesus. Those of you who have called on his name many a time, you know that to be true. And people will learn by example. So for our young babes in the Lord, the Bible says that the very name of Jesus, the demons have to flee. The very name of Jesus...
I don't know how long I've been up here, so just give me a cue, but okay. Um, but I'd like to just thank the Lord for his many blessings in my life. Brother Gamble, um, I had the privilege of meeting him and Sister Ruth about 11 years ago when Stephen Kimry and I started dating, and, and uh, Brother Gamble married us 10 years ago, and uh, it's just been a wonderful, wonderful experience. Um, I knew from a very young age that that it, it, there's something about investing in your child's life and letting them know that there's a purpose far more than just a career or or whatever. But but I, I was raised with this God atmosphere in my home, and and I know I've not accomplished great and mighty things that that the world may see as you know great and mighty, but. On the spiritual front, I hope I have accomplished some things, and I'm still working toward that. We are all still on our journey. But my mom and my dad raised me in a very loving and Christian home. And uh, just the many things that, that now, as an adult, that I'm learning about, that I, that I realized that I had learned from a long time ago, is that when the rubber meets the road, so to say, and you are forced to either believe what you've been taught and what you've lived for all these years, or you're just gonna say, wait a minute, we're in a crossroads in our life. Uh, my dad passed away almost six months ago of colon cancer. And, um, you know, we, we prayed for healing and, and there's, there's healing on, on both sides of the river, either here, either here on the earth or, or uh, you know, in heaven. But, um, but the Lord threw out all that um, almost immediately. The enemy started sitting on my shoulder and he said, you didn't pray hard enough for your dad, did you? You didn't petition the Lord enough. And I went through a real valley where I was just like, Lord, I don't, I don't understand this. I, my dad has preached about healing. He's lived it and, and things like that. And, and what am I supposed to do? Do I pray this way and get this? Or do I pray this way and this? And the Lord reminded me that there is something called sovereignty that we have to remember that God is sovereign. We have to pray for ourselves to accept his will. And I just thank the Lord because if I had prayed one way and this happened or prayed this way and this happened, I would have been disgusted with myself either way. But I prayed for God's sovereign will. Now yours may not be such, such a disastrous thing or, or, or terminal thing as, as death, but there are things in your life, just like Sister Ginger had said, she wanted to take that hammer and just 
crack it and get it over with and get, be done with it. But there are some things you've got to wait through. And there's some things that you've got to learn to rely on what you have been taught. And if you don't remember anything from this conference, remember the name of Jesus, because I'm sure Sister Ruth would want that to be the name lifted above any name. And remember his name. And I want to do one last song, and then I'll introduce the next singer. But this one is just, just let this song minister you, to you. Because in the valley of your decisions, don't just, you know, get the hammer out and and crack it, wait through it, get the hope, and then remember that God has a sovereign plan. And you may not see what you want to see, but pray that he will help you accept what he wants for your life. It's precious too. 